Hello, and welcome back. And as you can see, I am once again joined by my dear friend Lindley, who is continuing her bizarre tradition of joining me for the first movie of the school year and then the last movie yes. of the school year. It was Christopher Robin last year, right, when school oh. got out. And then Lego Movie this year, just right. as school was starting up again. And now we are back for End this. Of the year. So, yeah. That's uh, a pretty good bookend. Yeah, it, it, it works nice. out. It's a night. Nice, it's nice. It gives, gives the viewers something to look forward to. That's right. So, um, <laughs> wait, I think, I'm the, I think I'm the most often on your show. You now. are, you are. You're, 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 you're you are the most, you are the, the longest reigning guest host. This is, this is three for you. Four. Four. Yeah, you're right. Four. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, so that is you. So That's me. There she is. Congratulations, my popular demand. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the actual talking about this, because I know you're, you're chomping at the bit. I know. And while we kind of wait for people around us to kind of get in their car so we don't run anybody over and wait for the car to cool off a little bit. Um, so we talked about this before the movie starts. So what, where does the original Aladdin sit for you in, you know, in your memories? You know, yes. nostal How nostalgic are you? Kind of I'm not that nostalgic for it. I liked it as a kid. I went and saw it in the theater. A friend of mine in middle school, we, we sang A Whole New World at the talent show, I Was Aladdin. <laughs> and so, you know, like I was into it, but I was it's never one that I, oh, I'm like, oh, I love that one. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just like, oh, it's, yeah, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, and I was, I was telling you that for me, it kind of goes the other way because as dumb as it sounds, this film was kind of, the original film was the the only real point of peer pressure I ever remember right. as a kid, because even as a kid, it just never struck me. It didn't work for me. It it was. I, I won't go into all the things about it that kind of bugged me. I will say the only things I liked about it were Jafar and Iago. Yeah. Which, not on our, I guess ironically, ironically, you know, is one of the things this film kind of screws up in my opinion. But hmm, see, I liked a lot. I because I just watched. Them. The original Aladdin with my kids, my students, this last week for end of the year, and so I got to watch Iago and all of it again. Like I'm really recent, I'm up to date on it. All right. And I liked that this Iago was not so annoying. <laughs> was like, okay, fair actually, enough. As an adult, as fair an enough. Adult, okay, fair the enough. The old Iago was super annoying. As a kid, yeah. I thought he was hilarious, but now since I've grown up a little bit more and outgrown the original, I appreciate a not so annoying. I'll, I'll yeah, say no. that, but what I what I'll say <laughs> in in contrast is that Jafar, this guy playing him, not intimidating, not interesting, not any. He looked he looked ridiculous. I don't know what it was about his mm. costume, or just, he was the one that looked almost really did look the most cartoonish. Yeah, yeah. And he, one of the great things about. Jafar is just how intimidating the voice and the way they drew him, just how tall he was. Right, and older too. Yeah, and this guy just did not pull it off. He did not come off as a credible threat. Yeah. So I, I've jumped ahead just because that was just one of the things that just kind of bugged me. But let's just let's go through it. So what did what'd you think overall? What's kind I think of the, overall it was fun. Yeah. I really had I did have fun. Okay. You know, I don't expect a lot from these remakes, so I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm not like not ever disappointed because I really don't expect much from them. Yeah. But I do have to say, like, when I saw the trailers, I was like, oh, this looks like a cool yeah. But then once you're in the world, it all makes a little more sense, and so it's a little bit easier to have fun. If okay. You know what I mean? You okay. buy into it a little more. Okay. There were some cool parts of Will Smith that I thought were so funny, and it's sort of like sassy genie I, I, I liked. I liked it. It worked sometimes, not all the time. Yeah. It worked best. I, I always liked Will Smith when he was just being Will Smith. He was having fun, yeah. You know, in his early films, those early, uh, you know, 2000s or late 90s films, Independence Day and Men in Black, and yeah. even Wild Wild West. It did have flavors of those. Yeah, sure. where it was just him kind of being him, right. having a good time, and, you know, before kind of he was the biggest star in the world and all of that, and you're right, when he was kind of doing that, it, it was, was it was fine, but... Yeah, it, it did. It felt. It felt like he was holding himself back because he didn't want to be crazy yeah. Robin, Robin Hood, Robin, Robin Williams. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he didn't want to like em emulate that imitation. Yeah. So it felt like he was holding himself back a little bit. Yeah. And maybe that was a directorial uh, no, choice. Oh, we'll, we'll talk With about the director. Richie, yeah. Which was 
What did you think about that? Dark Guy I mean, Ritchie just, directing. It was just weird. I was like, really? It, man. There's a lot less swearing. There's a lot Guy less Ritchie. swearing. And I'm going to say this. Um, Guy Ritchie cannot direct musical numbers. The one in particular was really bad. Oh. The speechless. I liked, oh, so Princess Jasmine, I do like the updates they made to her character. I didn't mind it. Yeah, I didn't mind I it. I did like that. And the sort of more modern feminist updates to her, I really, I appreciated and I liked it. I thought that they did a good job with it. But the song, the new song that she did, the speechless song, one, I just don't think the song was very good. No. It wasn't a good song and it didn't fit with the old, the original songs that they still had. Like it was like the I wonder if it's songs. from the musical. I wonder if it's on the Broadway musical. Oh, is there a Broadway? It, there is. So I, but I don't know if it's from it. But anyway, I'm sorry. Anyways, I, didn't mean to... I just didn't think it fit. I think the idea behind it was really was a good idea, which we need to show her, you know, not bowing down and stepping up into her power. Yeah. Um, I th- thought that was fine, but I thought the way that it worked and then the, yeah. and the actual filming of it, like people would disappear. It's just weird thing. I'm sitting there off. watching it. She's singing, and people like disappear. I'm like. Is her weird. is her voice the Infinity Gauntlet? Did she snap, or right. all these people? Like, what is happening? It was weird. Yeah, it, that part was just weird. I, 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 I like the idea, but it didn't. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. I noticed it in the the opening, the uh, one one step ahead or whatever, um, where the, yeah, the, the timing they, is off. They slowed down, like they slowed the film and down speed and it up. speed it up. It it was framed weird. It's like he can't he can't direct musical numbers. Yeah. It, he's, Terrible at it. Right. And I've honestly never seen a Guy Ritchie film I liked, to be honest with you. Like the first one I liked. Uh, so it's Lock, like, stock. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Yeah. Um, that one, is that the one with Brad Pitt? I think bags, so. Like bags? Yeah. Oh, goats. Yeah, yeah. Like goats. yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, I don't. I always feel like <laughs> that these, these Disney live action remakes, I always feel like. They're the B pictures for yeah. Disney. Yeah. Because clearly, it's yeah. They need the, to make a little bit of money so they can do the yeah, other stuff. The Marvel films are where they're putting their big guys, their big directors, yeah. all and of the their money. Animation. Yeah, the best Some CGI. Some of the animation was really weird. Yeah. It was just off, and even for like a movie where you are immersed in a world, right? So you expect these sort of crazy things in this, yeah. this world. It just. Some of it was so odd. Yeah, so I always feel like the, the Marvel films get the A team. Yeah. And these live action remakes are like the C release. These, these are these yeah. films feel like the the modern day equivalent of the cheap monster movies well, they've released to the theaters yeah, the drive-in. I think they're the fillers. Yeah. They're the fillers just because to keep they, the machine going while they wait between yeah. the two bigger pictures. Because they look cheap. Yes, they do look cheap. Although I did like the color. Oh, I the costumes, the costumes were fantastic. The costumes and the color. And yeah, the color. I will agree with that. It's the like, costumes. This is pretty to watch. Yeah. I, I will totally agree with that. The costumes and the colors of those costumes, especially, were, were gorgeous. Um, Naomi Scott as Jasmine had some great yeah. outfits. And she thought that was really good. Yeah. I thought she and Aladdin really were really good. I, you know, I'm going to agree with that because one of the things when we were talking about this, one of the things I had a problem with the original is Aladdin as a character is an ass. Yeah, he's a liar. He never really yeah, like he's, comes he's a to tell the truth. He doesn't really like no. um, get but, over himself. Yeah, but I <laughs> but thought in this one they played that out longer and yeah. I thought that worked well that they played out his redemption. Yeah, I thought I, and I thought the kid fuller. I thought the kid playing him did a really nice job. Yeah. He, he was a much more interesting and sympathetic character yes. than he had been in the original one. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think that of Jasmine as well. Yes. Um, she was a more interesting character. Like, like again, what you were saying, the original Jasmine suffered from the that '90s problem of we don't know how to write women yet because we can't write them the way we used to write them. We want them to be strong, independent women. Make them a bitch. That's how they're going to be strong. There's That's gonna, man right. Yeah, it, exactly. I mean, yeah, not not only men, but like 40 and 50 year old men White right men now. Probably yeah, too. please, Disney, are you kidding? Me? You know. <laughs> So yeah, um, so I will say that. I will say I liked the characters and the actors playing them. I just wish the movie had been better. Again, yeah. it was so, again, it, it looks so flat and everything looks so small. Yeah. I don't understand, you know. They I were did, going for that grand. And yeah, and it didn't hit. But yeah, yeah, it didn't work very well. Yeah, it really, I don't, I don't know what about it, but again, the word flat kept coming. Mm-hmm. 
in my mind. Like yeah. everything looked just yeah. Which is weird again because you're the originally it's a two D two D animated film, so everything was flat and everything felt so much more vibrant and so right. much more alive. I don't Yeah. And again, my my biggest problem is you know that that Jafar was terrible. It was, uh, it was I like the idea that the the things that they did add I thought worked well. Like the him kept like him struggling with Jafar struggling with the I'm second, I can't be second, I have to be first and then mm -hmm. like I think those additions that they made to like Jafar and Aladdin and Jasmine really did help, I think was just the overall story. But none of it quite synced together. See, I, I think it for me, I think it worked for Aladdin and Jasmine. Yeah, they worked. But for Jafar, one of the great things about old school Disney villains is they were just bad. Yeah, there you was know? no. You didn't need a sympathy. redeeming arc. You didn't need a motivation. You didn't. Need, they were just bad, and they loved it. Right. And I think that's why people remember them. Right. So well, it is just these guys. These guys and gals were just evil for the sake of being evil, and. They didn't need anything else. Right. He wanted power. That's all he needed. Right. And, I, and especially in a short movie. Yeah. You don't. You don't, you don't need, need to, to explain add him. And in a movie like that, like a flat, you don't need. Yeah. You don't need to add that necessarily to it. Although, like I said, I thought that did work. It did. Wrong. Like I say, it worked for the. It worked for the leads. Right. I will. I will admit. But I did. I, it really. He fell flat. And I get. He looked the most out of place. He looked like a guy. He didn't look like he was getting any direction. He's just like, uh, okay. Yeah. I do have to say, though, I think the villains are the hardest to play. So I think, like, he did have a harder job. I think you need, I you think know? you needed an actor in there who, this sounds right, you know, but who is a little bit better at playing the villain. You needed a Gary Oldman type, or you needed a Jeremy Irons type, you know, yeah. who just eat those roles up. Yeah. You know, who can go hammy. And I think that was the thing. They didn't want him to go too hammy, but... But it needed a It needed to hammy. It needed a little. That's what made Jafar great in the original, I thought. Right. So, what do you think of the... We talked a little bit about it. What do you think of the, the, the CGI and the... It was weird. Yeah. A lot of it was really off. Like you said, the speeding up, the slowing down. Mm -hmm. And then the proportions often seem to be off. Yeah. And the timing, and then with the genie especially, I thought, honestly, the sinking of Will Smith's face with the CGI was not good. Yeah. It was really, really bad, I thought. Like, it was bad. And yeah, and, like, and I was like, but you have all this money, like, that's the easiest thing to do is, well, not, I don't know if it's easy. Well, yeah. But it's the first thing that should be good. Yeah. Is his, that's what the bread and butter is, and right? That's, like, that's the first thing that should be good, but it was the worst. And I that's, thought. again, why I'm saying I always get the feeling, like, like I say, those Marvel films get the... Because you look, compare that to, like, the motion capture on Thanos. Motion capture, that's what And how, was how phenomenal that looked. You know, how he looked, that, you know, swear that guy was there in just makeup. Right. But here it's like... Yeah, it didn't look good. Yeah, and I don't know if that's because, like I say, they were getting like the B team or they were trying to go for a more cartoony look I don't know. which didn't mesh with the rest of it but I think it was fun I think it, I think like I enjoyed it but it was definitely like a the dance numbers were interesting they were yeah they were very Bollywood also, very Bollywood yeah. which at first I thought was cool but then I was like wait a minute is this but this is supposed to be Arabian yeah it's supposed to be Arabesque yeah is that kosher to make them I don't know. Does it make it Bollywood? I don't know. I don't. I, I honestly didn't know. I was like, I don't know if this is okay. <laughs> saying, it, it's that sad it state of affairs. might be super affair. offensive. It's that sad state of affairs that we're in <laughs> that these days you have to look at everything in a movie and go, how offended am I by that? Right. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not offended by it, but I didn't know if it is offensive. Um, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that, here's a question. I didn't, and if she, I didn't know Naomi Scott was Arabic. I don't know who she is. The only no, thing, I the only know. thing I know her from is she was the uh, she was the new Pink Power Ranger in that Power Rangers reboot movie a few years back. That's the only thing I've seen her in. But I, so I don't know. So, you know clearly, the young man well, playing Aladdin is. Well, I know that they did a, they did like specifically 
try and find yeah. people of which, Middle Eastern which she should have. ethnicity. Yeah, definitely. And they made a big deal of that. So yeah. I would assume she is. Yeah. But and so, I yeah, I mean, I'm, and that's not like a bad thing. It's like, oh, I didn't, that's just kind of a, uh, I did not know that. Nassim Pedrab, I didn't like. I mean, I like the idea of a funny handmaid, like that has yeah. a funny handmaid. But yeah. she was so different from everything else, like in the sh in the movie, that it just every time yeah, she they, took me completely they out. They put this weird handmaid character yeah. in there for Jasmine solely, I think, so the genie could have a love interest for some yes. reason. Um, and yeah, she stuck out like a sore thumb. Just, yeah, did not fit the world. Yeah. You know? She was too winking to the camera, kind of, too modern. So, yeah, it, yeah, it didn't fit. It didn't fit. Yeah. I will say that. I'm glad they kind of let Will Smith be Will Smith and didn't have him do a lot of, you know, pop culture references or imitations or... Right. You know, they didn't try to have him do the Robin Williams thing, which right. I think is the best... Because you can. You He's can. Got that character, whether you like it or you don't, but, but he is so beloved. Yeah. You can. You yeah, can't you can't. Him. Yeah, I know. Well, I understand. Even though it didn't work for me, I understand why it is, you know, why he's beloved in that part. Because, yeah. you know. I don't know. Like, I've tried to watch the original Latin with my kids, and they're, like, not so into it. Yeah. They like being the stuff. I honestly think. And I think this would be too intense in a yeah. movie theater for me. Kid. Well, certainly for my daughter, Baxter oh. might be able to do it, but like, I'll show this to him when it's on TV, like well, when it's on Netflix. Or Netflix. Well, you know, I think kind of going to that, I wanted to give him a shout out anyway. We talked about this movie. Um, a friend of ours we went to college with, Paul Jones. Yes, this is um, a good story. Was when this film came out, when when I was younger, when you know, I'm 92. 92, um, he was one of the youngest film critics in America. And he went, he was on The Tonight Show went with Jay Leno with Robin Williams um, when this movie came out. And Paul Jones, and I don't know how old he was, I forget how old I was, I was in junior high, I think, um, looked Robin Williams in the face and said, I think it's fine, but I think it's too dated. Already. <laughs> Already. And I think, so one, I wish I had the balls Paul had to at that, that age, because that dude. Mad respect, right we need there. To find them. I need to see this book. I, he's got it somewhere. I'm sure. I don't know. Um, um, but, but, that's, but that's the thing too. Like I enjoyed this as a kid. Yeah. But as an adult, yeah, it's yeah, not going to hit me the same way. I've outgrown it. But I that doesn't mean that it that it doesn't last for kids. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I think the thing is, kind of going back to what Paul was saying, is that it's two nineties. Yeah. It's so marinated in that time and that feel, and it's very 90s. But I think it was trying to be. I it was. That was the point. It know? was. It was trying to be, and I don't know right. if that was the, you know, I think that's why people tend to grow out of it. Right. You know, it doesn't, and why I don't think it holds up, in my opinion. And like you said, I know there are people who just still adore this movie. Nothing wrong with that, but I think you look at something a little bit more timeless, like say Beauty and the Beast, or even Mermaid. Lion King. Lion King, or uh, Little Mermaid. Sorry, um, I think those since they're not so pop culturey, they're not so right. you know of that moment. I think that's why they hold up a little bit better than Aladdin. But I see does. this one. I think won't, won't won't have that issue. I don't think it because will because it isn't. Yeah. Really like it yeah, it's just. I think it's a, yeah. It's just a B minus, C yeah. plus. Okay. That's my grade. Oh, so that's that's what you're going to so C plus, C minus. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, I'm going C plus on this one. Um, I didn't hate it. Yeah, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. So C plus or B minus? Pick one. Come on. C plus. C plus. All right, so double C plus uh, for us. This is just so I can tell where it is on the video when I'm editing the, the grades in. Um, all right, so before we wrap up, I got to ask because. This is one of my favorite uh, segments when you're on the show. On the feminist radio meter. Where does this low. It was where, good. where where it does was this good. one? Like I said, I liked the I don't want to give it away if you're gonna go see it, but I really like the updates that they did for Jasmine. Okay. I, I really do. It, it, right. I was not offended like oh. I was in the first one. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. As an adult, as a yeah. kid, I didn't know. So, yes, all right. Low. So on the, on the feminist radio meter, we're at a we're at a what? A one out of ten. Oh, it's all at least a one out of ten. Yeah, one out of ten. One being the lowest. Well, I think in the world right. we're in a constant state of at least five. So okay. Let's just so. Say that. <laughs> 
I always just keep myself a like. You've got to be ready. It's like the Hulk, man. You're, I'm always angry, and I'm just ready to, you know, boom. All right. Exactly. All right. Exactly. See, I, I love the feminist radio meter. It's like I really want to find a way to get a, get a graphic for you for that. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'll just make a cardboard. That's what we should do. That we should do a little dial. Where are we exactly. here? Way more fun. I like that. We're, we're gonna do that. Um, all right, so C plus is not not the worst thing I've seen, but not not offensive. Not yeah, not offensive, but not not great. But you know, help. All right, so um, once again, I want to thank Lindley for joining me here in this wonderful tradition. I'm hoping that she will come back and join us again yes. uh, when school before, school before school. Yeah. So um, to everyone else, uh, we are kind of in that downward slide before I leave for Alaska and these stop until I get back uh, but we might hit one or two more before the week is out uh, but until next time drive safe and I'll see you at the movies <laughs>